He's got a top class competitor to go against around that. Well, they're not giving a bit of courage. As the foot, they have no calm, they even need a mouthpiece. Obviously, my end one. Test the writers. If you're just tuning in, wondering what this is, this is the electronic sensor guard, and then this, likewise, the S guard is shirt, glove, and in guards as well. So safe as the head guard in place. Who's going to be the head guard at the end of this one? Open stance. S bend up. Gloves a punch. Little skip at on the kick. See that been inside, Sarah? Excellent from both athletes. We know how strong Maria Espinosa is. Just a little back and you bully Eve Darbin with that strength. That's a good point. Well made. And at the moment, no points on the board. Good blocking from the Mexican Ray. She had retired from the sport. The native of Sinaloa. She's against the soul sister Ida Bin at the moment. The leg turn of the three is there. She loves it on the counter. Goes with the front leg instead. Espinosa. Good touch, Sarah. No score board by start. And both trying to launch Pine, trying not to win the clinch. Eve deals with that leg Ida Bin. It's a high one, just missing, falls it in the as well. So eight points on the board. A physical challenge, and that shows that the range of ability that Ida Bin's got. It's not just footwork, it's not just. Stuff. Tough to be in question of heavy weights. You know, you've got to get some direct their athletes with that extra weight as well. They are powerful women. Powerful women, role models, and top class fighters. Probably to come in as a judge's like. No question about it. Cheers all right on the main pinch. Ida Ben tries one of her own. Couldn't quite get the purchase on that punch though as we creep towards just about half a minute left in the first round. Lovely fake from Espinosa. Control of distance as well. A nice back leg in that short distance again in the left side from Lee Darbin. Espinosa trying to go on the counter there. Good block from the Mexican. A little short left leg on the inside. Ida Ben flicks one up to the face. A little bit of holding on the inside. Yes, Nagulievich sees it. Could be a gamble, it is. Eggs. How do you cram those legs in there to do that? I don't know because I am I've never ever you know how to do that. So you know, and we have so many tall athletes now create and, and we know our very own Bianca Wharton was in the final tomorrow. She's nailed that clinch with her height and her leg line. She works that really, really well. You need to ask her, I think. <laughs> that's my homework, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, that's your homework. But who can get the big results in this one? 7 1 in favour of Ida Bint. Maria Espinosa falling further behind. It's a great back leg turning kick. We were looking for the fairy tale for the Mexican fighter in red. But at the moment, the leading lady is in blue. And she's written the script in this one. Good short left leg again on the inside from Ida Bint. Doesn't score that one ever closer. But Espinosa, we know that she's got the quality. Does she have it left here to try and change it to do something new? It's not looking. It's not looking so likely. She looks not as. She doesn't look as fresh and as explosive as yesterday. Could be a little bit tired. Great back leg high for E Darbin. Eleven points down. This is going to be hard. This is going to be really tough for Maria Espinosa to pull this back. Well, Jasna Kuljovic is going to invalidate. That head kick, saying there was holding on the inside, so good strong refereeing. So it's a seven-point game, Espinosa trying with all her might there with that quick back leg. But to no avail, and Ida been to her credit. Game plan's been excellent so far, Sarah. Yeah, back kick close perfect. from Espinosa, though. We know, we know Maria, Maria Espinosa has more than just a punch and a back leg. She has the spin, she has the doubles. Just not quite finding the opportunity to be able to do those. Yeah, and the reason for that, as you all well know, is Taekwondo experts at home. Ida Bin, a formidable opponent, controlling the distance well. Nice footwork from the Korean in blue. Gets into the clinch and kills time on the clock, which reads less than a minute in the second. It's a little bit too easy for Ida Bin. Yeah, working hard on the inside in the close distance. Ida Bin. Landing these little short, sharp shots. And the punch as well. Eight a counter in the way in, Sarah. Yeah, it's, it's, she's just making it so hard for Maria. 
Well, how do you solve a problem like Maria? Ask Ida Bin because she lands another punch. 12 to the good. Enjoying it now, John. 20 seconds too difficult. So you can't, you know, you've got to give the respect to E. Darbin because this is what we've seen from her. This is not a surprise that she would have done this in the final. Yeah, no question. But the chance to talk with Rebecca McGowan after their quarter final match, and it was exactly what you said. Is it a question of me giving my best? And they are just on the day a little bit better. And Ida Bin has found the answers and given plenty of questions to Espinosa. She has two minutes to answer those questions, and she needs something special. Starts with a little power punch. But the other factor, of course, we talked about fighting the semi-final yesterday, coming into the final today. Espinosa, an older athlete, maybe it's it's hard to get the old engine running. Yeah, maybe that could be that could be a factor. We can't shy away from that. It's easier for younger bodies to recover. Um, so yeah, that could be a factor in this for her. She's going to have to start motoring because Ida been getting more and more confident, Sarah. You just had a look to me as if to say, wow, this yeah, is just it, painful now. Yeah, this shoe's just, it's, again, you can end up what being a fan when you're commentating because she's just put on an incredible show. And a lot of the Korean athletes, John, they've just been making it look so easy the whole two days. What and have they been doing to make these athletes how they are right now? Well, that is the pivotal question that Maria Espinosa has had to try and answer, as we've seen throughout the day today, and indeed yesterday, the Koreans on form. And as we know, painful training, hard practice to qualify for that national team. It's becoming the same in Great Britain, of course, but the level is so, so high. And it's the best of one generation against the best of another. Need have been at the moment. Well, I mentioned at the start, it might just be her day, Sarah. It looks like it now. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you did say that, John, and I think you're right. It's her day. She is just coming to this match, just wanting to enjoy herself by the looks of it as well. Absolutely no question about it. Well, she's enjoying it richly. And we'll give one last bit of plaudits to Maria Espinosa. Tries a back kick, walks into a push there from Ida Bin. Well, we saw Brandon Hernandez from Mexico fight to the finish against Jang Chun. And it was a silver for Mexico, and it's going to be the same story here. All credit and all plaudits go to Ida Bin, the better fighter by far. And she's sailing off into the sunset now, Sarah. And you know yourself, John, how many times have we seen Korea, when they're winning like this, they can really start to show off the skills and enjoy it.